Welcome to another exciting edition of Monday Night Raw. Rebooked tonight. We are going to have a Beat the Clock Challenge. The winner of this Beat the Clock Challenge will challenge Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship. We've got AJ Styles and Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy and Kofi Kingston, Riddle versus Ricochet, and to kick us off tonight, it is Drew McIntyre versus John Morrison. And McIntyre coming off a big victory over Angel Garza last week. John Morrison being accompanied by The Miz, who is still in that wheelchair from the ACL injury. And now the match is underway. They lock up. And Morrison takes him down immediately with a headlock. And now McIntyre going to push him into the corner and a big time chop. As him and look at the power of McIntyre. Now going to whip Morrison off the ropes. But catches him back with that disaster kick. And Morrison, big knee strike, and a standing shooting star press goes in for the cover, but a kick out. And the Miz getting up from his wheelchair to attack Mac. And now going for a Rana, but McIntyre holds him, and a front facing Alabama slam. And now the belly to belly, Morrison turned inside out. Going for the future shock, but ringed through. And misses the clothesline. And now, Moonlight Drive. That spinning neck breaker is the cover, but McIntyre kicks out. Morrison wants to set the pace. Starship Payne, but kicked in the face. And now on the outside, drops him on the apron. And McIntyre runs at him. Claymore's him out of his chair. Miz down from the Claymore, and look out. It's Angel Garza with the low blow. The referee didn't see it, and he's going to call the bell. The Lucha House Party chasing off Angel Garza. McIntyre loses, and Morrison sets the pace in this beat the clock. It's going to be Sheamus going one-on-one -on -one with Elias. Last week, Sheamus destroyed Elias' guitar, and he's not happy about it, but this match is underway with a vicious clothesline. And now, clubbing blows to the chest of Elias. And now picks him up and drops him with a powerbomb. Runs at Elias, but an elbow. And the neck breaker. Elias making Sheamus pay for breaking his guitar. On the second rope. But catches him with a backbreaker. And now Shamo going for the bro kick. But a snap German. And now Elias wants to cheat with that US title belt. But the referee taking it off him but wait he's got the guitar but bro kick to the guitar and the referee didn't see it but Elias is pleading and for the second week in a row look who it is it's Dominic Dijakovic to stare down the US champion but Sheamus wants nothing to do with Dijak but that's going to be a blockbuster match when it happens and look who's in the crowd. The former leader of Retribution, Ali. AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. Going one-on-one -on -one with Randy Orton in this beat the clock, but look out! The Hurt Business attacking Randy Orton. I don't think Orton can compete. And Riddle telling him, you can't go, but Orton wants to fight. And AJ Styles immediately works over the back. The back being worked over after the lumbar check from Cedric. But Orton with a boot up. And now a backbreaker that hurts him a lot. And now his back gave out on that occasion. And there's a Pele from AJ. Now AJ Styles with a backbreaker into a pin. This must be it for Orton, but a kick out. They're trying to beat the time that was set by Morrison. 
Morrison, but the knees were up. And now, off the ropes and a power slam, but that back still causing him issue. Goes for an RKO. No. Styles clash. But back dropped by Orton. We've got about a minute to go until this match is over. But look at Orton. He tried to scout it out. But AJ scouted him out. And there's the Styles clash. And AJ Styles now sets the time for this beat the clock. A number one contenders triple threat match. The winner faces Raw Women's Champion Rhea Ripley. It's Shayna Baszler, Charlotte Flair and Asuka. And Charlotte going to start this one off with some vicious chops to the challengers. And now floats over. And Northern Light suplex. Here's the cover, but in comes Asuka with a senton. And Shayna, vicious shots to Asuka. But a big boot from Charlotte Flair. And now Asuka goes behind. But here comes Shayna and a double German suplex. And Shayna on the apron gets kicked off by Asuka. And Asuka gets slammed down by Charlotte. Asuka sent into the ring apron. And now Charlotte with the moves up from the top. And in comes Asuka running the ropes and a missile drop kick. Asuka lock applied, but a natural selection to both. Going for the figure four, but a choke. She's got the choke in, but now into a pin, and there's Asuka with the Asuka lock. And Charlotte has to give it up. Asuka, the new number one contender for the women's title. And Shayna's furious attacking staff at ringside. Who's going to beat the time of AJ Styles? It was set earlier tonight. Nine minutes, two seconds. Either Kofi Kingston or Jeff Hardy. Who can do it? And it's going to be a fast pace in this one. They've got nine minutes to beat. Jeff Hardy goes behind. And an insecurity. And now Kofi throws him into the corner. And here it is. Monkey flip to Jeff Hardy. Now runs at Hardy, gets a face full of barrier. And now Jeff Hardy with the poetry in motion. Going for a drop kick in the corner, but caught by Kofi. And now a Hurricane Rana. These two former WWE champions, you see that went for the twist of fate, rolled him up but kicks out. And it's getting desperate here. Kofi lands on the apron. And now a springboard axe handle. Pulls out New Day and the boom drop to Jeff. There's two minutes left. Looks for trouble in paradise, but Jeff Hardy there to stop him. Kofi on the top. Misses the crossbody. With less than a minute to go. Here's the twist of fate. Hardy sees we've got less than 10 seconds remaining. But now he misses the swan so Can he do it? But no, the time is out. Neither man could beat AJ's time. Wait a minute, why are the lights gone out? Our main event is up next. It is Ricochet versus Riddle. The time to beat is nine minutes, two seconds, set earlier tonight by AJ Styles. And the Hurt Business want to take out Riddle like they did Orton earlier tonight. But Orton here to make sure that RK Bro doesn't get screwed over again. And now Riddle with a knee strike. Looking to end it early, but a kick out. And now whipping Ricochet, but lands on his feet. And Ricochet is so quick. And Ron is Riddle, and kips up into a drop kick. 
Riddle on the outside is Ricochet with a corkscrew plancher. Ricochet springboard, but a kick in midair. And the Broton. Going for a power bomb. Lands on his feet. And misses the kick. Misses the clothesline. Rings the arm. And now on the shoulders. Pops him off. And there's a kick to the skull. But Riddle with a Pele. Riddle with a headlock. Northern Lights. And Ricochet with a deadlift brain buster. And the standing shooting star press. In for the cover. But a kick out from Riddle. We've got less than five minutes to go, and you can tell it's getting urgent. Insecurity. And Riddle from behind, deadlift German suplex. Less than three minutes to go. Flew in, bro. Flew in, bro, by Riddle, but a kick out. Ripcord into a knee. Power bomb into a knee strike. It's just hit two minutes. And a kick out from Ricochet. Less than a minute to go. And gets out of the bro, Derek. Ricochet. The clock has hit. Minus. T minus 10 seconds. Rolls him up. And Riddle's done it. With a time of 8.58. Riddle is the number one contender. And look who's coming out now. I'm sure the champ's not out here to congratulate Riddle, but he's out here to remind him who the champion is. I can't wait for this rematch. Riddle, and lastly, this time for the WWE Championship.